Okay, taking a look at uh, a 16.75 acre tract at the White Ranch Project, which is close to the White Ranch Conservation Area. This is in northern Fulton County, uh, Missouri. I'm sorry, northern Fulton County, Arkansas, about two miles south of the Missouri border. You can see a couple root wads. That's from the when the easement road was improved uh, and they had to take out a few trees. This property does have a private driveway and a little cleared site, so you can get right off the easement road. That's the easement road. We're looking west, so the property's on the right. Looks like it was fairly cloudy when this video was taken, unfortunately, because it's generally uh, blue skies and gorgeous out here. Heavily wooded property, as you can see already. Big timber, big pine trees on this property. Uh, this has some, some gorgeous, gorgeous pine trees. Oak trees as well, hickory trees, but something about those big, tall pine trees is just awesome. We're looking northerly. The truck is parked uh, at the start of the driveway. And I believe we're going to do a full flyover here. Um, this has a little stream that crosses over it. Kind of a seasonal stream. It was flowing when we were out there, but uh, probably not a year-round stream. It does have power directly on site. We'll see that uh, in a couple minutes here. So there's a little driveway that leads back in. It looks like the guys probably intentionally angled it a little bit so that when you're back on the, uh, the clearing, um, the road is, is probably not too visible because of the way they angled that driveway. Look at those big pine trees, gorgeous. And it looks like they left just a couple trees in the site. They, they like to do that sometimes if possible, as long as it doesn't stop the site from being usable. That's pretty gorgeous. What they, what they used was a mulcher. So they probably removed some of the bigger trees, you know, with the chainsaw or whatnot. And then they came in with the mulcher and mulched everything up, um, which left a layer of mulch on the ground. And they generally throw down some grass seed too. So uh, by next spring or whatnot, that probably will be growing up into grass. I think what we're doing here is we're trying to get centered and then we're gonna fly straight northerly over the property. It's a little over 300 feet wide. So over 300 feet of direct road frontage and goes way back to the north. Um, whatever distance makes 16.75 acres. <laughs> it is surveyed with the corners marked. Uh, so that's a big bonus you, you don't have to worry about. As far as topography, how the land lays, you can check out the topo map. This video I think is, is showing it fairly well also. You've got what looks like kind of a, a knoll or a hill here on the south side. And at some point it starts to slope down. It has to because it's got that little stream that crosses over it. And we haven't gotten to that yet. And at some point we'll see the power line. I don't think you can miss it. Look at those big pine trees. Gorgeous out here. Extremely private. Uh, deer and turkey all over the place. Okay. So somewhere down in that timber as we as we slope down um, is where that little stream or creek or whatnot is. I don't know if we see it in this video. It's really tough with a drone uh, on a heavily wooded property like this. It could be right there, but it's hard to say. But again, it, it was flowing when we were out there and uh, we took a... a video or a picture a couple hundred feet east of the property um, where the stream actually flows over the, uh, the power line or the power line easement I should say because then it's visible uh, with the drone. Okay so that's obviously the, the power line so residential power line um, huge bonus to have on your property even if you never use it it does add value to your property uh, and if you do end up needing it or using it, it's pretty spectacular to have it on site like that. So once you get past the little little stream, uh, the property starts to gradually slope back up. And then the topo map indicated actually a fairly large level area um, right on the north side. And that's what we're seeing now. Looks like maybe even some natural openings natural clearings out there. 
that meadow is not on the property. That's going to be to the northwest. We're just getting turned around here. Great area, five minutes from that uh, conservation land, which gives you five or 6,000 acres of additional property, um, hunting, camping, actually fishing and swimming uh, because the Spring River goes through that conservation land. And it has the public shooting range, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now we're over the, the north side and we're flying back to the south. Definitely is some timber value on this property. Uh, just the pine trees alone. If you've ever priced logs for a, for a full log cabin, <laughs> you would know that there is some valuable timber on this property. Uh, obviously the property's gotta be paid for in full before you cut the timber. Okay, so there's, there's the little clearing. Look at all those big pine trees right around the clearing there. So the clearing was just kind of designed not necessarily as, you know, where you want to make your major campsite or build your dream home, but it does get you off of the road, gets you beyond the setbacks. You could uh, pitch your tent or park your truck right there and, and be good to go. Bring your trailer. About 20 miles south of West Plains, Missouri, which is a pretty good sized little regional city. Uh, and we're about 10 or 15 miles north of Salem, Arkansas which is the county seat uh, for Fulton County, although it's not as large as West, West Plains, which is in, um, West Plains is in Howell County, Missouri. Beautiful property, love this one. The mature timber, the power on site, um, the, the private driveway and, and the uh, cleared site. Awesome, awesome tract. Uh, if you're not already on the website, please go and check that out. If you have any questions, just let us know.